Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a, I think it's a fairly new release. This is Unspoken by Gabor and I have it in the color Sugar Nickel. Actually, it's shaded Sugar Nickel and the color code is GL4466SS. I love this color. I had it oh my gosh, about two years ago on uh, Modern Motif, and I absolutely, I reviewed Modern Motif, but I did not like that wig on me at all. However, I love the color. So when I saw Unspoken, which is a relatively new style, at the Wig Studio One clearance section, I grabbed it, and I thought, okay, that's more up my alley. This is a little bob. I just took it out of the box. I haven't done anything to it. It still has the zigzag part. I like to wear gray sometimes. And this gray, it, it, there's a little bit more uh, silver in it than there is in, on my bio hair. But I think it's really pretty. It, there, But there's definitely more, more silver, more of that white. And we do have a dark root. Which I need a dark root because with my dark brows, if I don't have a dark root, it just doesn't look right. This color looks uh, similar to Chrome RT1B from Aesthetica. However, we do have lighter fibers on the front, which I'm really interested in seeing. Let me show you the cap and then I'll slip Unspoken on and we'll take a look and I'll give you my thoughts. It appears to be a center part, right? Doesn't that look like a center part to you? It doesn't say on the website Therefore, I'm really a little confused, but it appears to be center part, which I'll be able to tell as soon as I put it on. And we have felt covered ear tabs, a non-extended nape, and Velcro adjusters. There is lots of stretch to the cap. What I'm wearing right now is Forever Chic by Gabor in the color Dark Chocolate, GL46. Gabor tends to run a little bit on the on the larger end of average. In order for it to accommodate my 21 and a half inch circumference, I have to cinch it in almost to the center. Yes. I just find that it runs really big on me. Almost, and it, it probably would fit like a 22 and a half, honestly. All right, we have some pretty layers right here towards the front on the front. I think we can wear it a little undone, if you will, and it will look really pretty. Pretty bob. It weighs 3.6 ounces. Pretty layers. I think it's really pretty. I f I'm finding it a little bit full right here. Just a little bit of permatease, not much, on either side of the center part. And we have some at the nape for sure. But if we wouldn't have that permatease at the nape, then the style would fall, will be very flat. So in order to get this kind of a bob form, we need to have, we need to have that permatease back there. I think it's really cute. I think it's a really cute style. Let's take a look at the lace front. Nicely done with uh, the lighter fibers but it's not I don't think it's stark I think it's done very well I don't see any knotting the lace front doesn't go all the way to the ear tab but it does come partially so it's extended for sure I find it to be a perfect uh, throw and go type of a style that looks you can wear it for every day for a very casual look. You could wear it in a more sophisticated look. Just really, really pretty. I like it. And I love the color. I'll tell you what Gabor says about sugared nickel. A deep charcoal base, which I agree. And then we have multiple tones of medium gray. I also agree with that. And steel white highlights. I think they describe it perfectly. I agree with everything they say. We have excellent coverage. Here's the ear tab and my hairline, which I won't have to mess with. I could just leave it just like that.
Let's go over a few of the measurements. On the front, we have a bang of seven and a half inches. My hair, my face from hairline to chin is seven and three quarters, and my collarbone, my collarbone, my neck from chin to collarbone is five inches. We have a crown of 10 inches, the nape is three inches, the sides are seven and a half, and the back is eight and a half. So we don't have an awful lot of layering, but we do have some, which I think really serve to for this kind of feathery look. We could wear it messy, a little messy. We could wear it very, very done. I think this will be really pretty off the face. I'll just put a clip up there uh, with the headbands. Oh, I like it like that. Probably not with that particular one, but if you're looking for a bob, you want a little bit of volume on the top. You don't mind a little bit of permatees. If there was an abundance, I tell you, um, I don't feel an abundance. I do feel a little bit higher density right here, but we're only talking about a style that weighs only 3.6 ounces. So it's not as if it's a high density, but I think it's more concentrated right here because if not, we wouldn't have this bob. It would I was trying to move it over to the side since it has a center part and not everyone likes a center part. I think that if you just, because we have that seamless lace front that, that goes right into the center part, we could just move it, the front to the side. I'm not real big on having a perfectly straight line. So if you're like me and you don't mind not having a perfectly straight line, you could just move that over to the side, to the right or to the left, and then just leave the part where it's at. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you spending this time with me. I hope that everyone is having a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. Bye.